But tonight, records obtained by 12 News show the Greenfield High School athletic director admits using racially insensitive language when he referred to a student as boy. Investigative reporter Derek Rose is here with an exclusive copy of the notes the AD used to issue his apology. Patrick, it's a one-page outline drafted by the now former athletic director Trent Lauer sent to the district ahead of that private meeting from February 4th. While he admits his language was racially insensitive, he claims it was not intentional and is educating himself further on diversity. Ahead of the February 4th meeting, athletic director Trent Lauer drafted a one-page outline for what he planned to tell parents and teammates of Omar Surveyor. The outline notes Lauer planned to admit using language that was racially insensitive but not intentional when he used the term boy, referring to Surveyor the week before. Come on, boy. We're going in the lunchroom right now, boy. You want to be called a boy now? The outline notes Lauer's intent was to rectify behavior he felt was not in accordance with the expectations of the cafeteria but did not provide specifics in the outline. Under the headline of Perspective Gained, Lauer planned to modify his approach in the future and take responsibility of regaining the trust and repairing relationships within the school community. The outline has him apologizing for his actions and a promise to work with a greater amount of care and sensitivity and ultimately continuing to learn and educate himself further on the topic of diversity. But still, the meeting left parents less than satisfied. So you're very frustrated with what happened here this afternoon? Definitely, because it was almost a waste of time. If Trent wanted to apologize, he could have been apologized um, to Omar in a public setting, just like how he um, disrespected him in a public setting. The players attracted attention to the case with a protest after the initial incident, wearing T-shirts with the phrase, my name is not boy. Lauer is no longer the athletic director. As for his specific employment status with the district, I asked for a copy of a resignation or termination letter. The district lawyer told me no such record exists. Patrick suggesting while Lauer may not be the AD, he is still currently employed by Greenfield Schools. Derek Rose reporting tonight.